hello and welcome back. Today I'm going to look at the main challenges as to why there's no contact between you and another person. So this is for those of you who want to know the main blockages as to why there is no contact. So I'm starting with this deck. Overall energy, please forgive. Someone hasn't forgiven someone, okay? They might not have forgiven you or you might not have forgiven them for something. But that is the overall energy today that someone hasn't let go of something okay somebody's still holding on to something that somebody did now i would say if you'd been in a pretty toxic relationship that's understandable so it might not be your reading today because um that's understandable okay i'm, I'm getting today that this was an argument or somebody's ego got in the way okay it wasn't a, i'm not channeling today that it was a particularly toxic situation okay so let me see what else we get i shall give these a little bit more of a shuffle um if you would like a reading if you just click on the title of the video it's all in the description box and also the free relationship reports in there as well let's have a look so it's forgiveness like i say it's not toxic um i'm getting it's i just that was like a silly squabble. Someone wasn't open to love here. So I'm getting somebody in this connection was closed down. Okay. You could have met someone I'm hearing that... Although they might have come on strong and they might have looked like they were ready to um, <clears throat> give you love and stuff. And, and it... it Deep down, there was something not right here, meaning that they hadn't processed some past pain. Okay, there was something they hadn't learned from, processed. Okay, they weren't open. They weren't open. I feel actually it's possibly their energy. They're almost not forgiving something. But I think that's because it suits them not to forgive because then they'd have to be honest and open up. Affection. Yeah, you connected into somebody who withdrew their affection and their love from you, okay? But they blamed you. They blamed you, and I feel they're still blaming you. Hmm. Yeah. They are too frightened to open up because they're afraid. This person you connected into is really insecure, okay? It's almost like there's a stalemate here today. I'm feeling a stalemate before I even get my tarot deck out. I feel there's a stalemate here today because one person, but I feel it's the person, not you specifically. But I think, no, I feel it's them that has massive insecurities, okay? they were really committed to start with then i feel they pulled back or they started <clears throat> breadcrumbing you hot and cold behavior in out all over the place which then caused you to have some insecurities okay and then there was just a stalemate i don't think you've quite forgiven them possibly um for for the way they just shut down they just pulled their affection back they could have just ghosted you blocked you um just really out of the blue here okay but i think they were showing signs of breadcrumbing before they did that let's just have one more please compromise yeah somebody wouldn't compromise here okay now, the thing is, if you were the one that was blocked, like I say, I'm not getting toxic vibes, so just bear that in mind. But if you were the one that was blocked and shut down, then it's understandable why you don't really want to compromise because I can see your person, due to their own insecurities, okay, they find it very difficult to forgive and to release the tension. And I feel the way they do that is they just close you down. They just shut you down. They don't want to face it. 
but the someone here will have to almost back down but again don't shoot the messenger i can totally understand when people don't want to back down you know if you've been breadcrumbed and they haven't given you affection and they've closed their heart down to you and they're just acting like a complete idiot really because of their own insecurities then no you're not going to want to compromise because it takes all your energy it just saps your energy here but the central card the truth of the matter is that there was affection between you and there was a loving bond between you and to start with there was an, a massive amount of love in this relationship um I wouldn't be surprised if the two of swords didn't come out now. Let me just see what these have got to say. I'm just going to cover each of these cards with this deck today. Can you clarify each card for me, please? Love conquers all. Yeah, that's the card, Abundance. There was a great deal of love in this. Okay, what's the forgiveness, please? power the power of love is like a magnet drawing souls together yeah you're still connected but this is stalemate okay this is a very strong connection here and although you're not speaking you're possibly trying to work both of you probably unbe unbeknownst to each other you're trying to work on the healing side of this okay it's a very, very strong connection for whoever this is for today. Can you clarify the insecurities for me, please? Yeah, someone was frightened to embrace what destiny had in store for them. It's somebody pulling back. You know, their heart wants it. Um, but their mind, their mind's probably got memories of things that went wrong. You know, there's so many reasons why somebody starts breadcrumbing or they shut down or they just run off. OK, um, specifically today, I feel this person was just too afraid to show the real them. They loved you. This person loved you. OK, let's compromise, please telepathic connection right you do have i think you're healing each other by your telepath <laughs> tele telepathetic connection pathetic i can't get my words out today telepathic connection even keely you're healing each other through this you'll know if this is your reading if you're having conversations with your person and I feel when you split up, you were having conversations like, wait till I see you again, or this is just an example, give you an energy that I can feel. Wait till I see you again. I hate you. I'm never speaking to you again. I hope you, you know, fall off 16 cliffs and break every bone in your body. Whereas now I feel that you are having more of a, a different conversation. What I'm getting here is either you, your person, both of you, when something good happens in your life, you're almost telling them in your mind. You're saying, hey, such and such, oh, that was so good today. Or if you have a problem, you're saying, I wonder could I wonder what you what would you think I should do? Well, I wish you were here, or do you remember when you did when we did this? You're speaking to each other. Okay. You're speaking to each other. That's why you can feel them. That's probably why you're watching this reading today. Okay. You can feel them. Um I'm, I'm hearing, I know some people have said, look, it's all over, you know, it could be your friends or your family, but if this is for one of you today, this is not toxic, okay? I've seen many occasions where people do reconcile, many, many times, um, when somebody has had a lot of insecurities or they haven't processed a lot of their baggage. Obviously, those of you who watch me regularly, you know, I'm not talking about narcissistic connections or trauma bonded connections here. Um, this is this is just two people who it just went wrong for. So let's see what the middle card is, please. It's time to think of everything that you admire in your partner, affection, 
showing affection creates a loving bond. What I'm really getting today is that this isn't something that's happening here out here, like, you know, physical. This is a message, really, for those of you who are trying to manifest somebody back in. Or you are, because once you've made a decision, it's already done. But if you want your person back, one of the things you can do is change the story. Okay. There's many, many other things um, that you can do regarding this but one of the key things is to change the story so if you're still having the old story which hands up i've done so many times in the past if you still got the old story about you know you wish they would literally like i said fall off a cliff then whatever you are thinking about will come into your 3d predominantly okay it's fact it's an absolute fact i've done this all my life i've tested it it happens so uh, my guides are saying with this, it's time to think of everything that you you admire in your partner, change the story, if this is what you want. If not, this isn't your reading, okay? You, you know, look at them favourably. Just change the story, okay? But this is where it goes back to forgiveness, okay? You... You can't change the story if you're still hanging on to anger, okay? And, you know, with some people, if, if this story never changes, it's because it's not, you know, what somebody wants, okay? So that's why I'm going to say it again. It's not a relationship that was particularly nasty, okay? Let's see what your person is projecting out to the world as opposed to what they're really thinking. Yeah, four of pentacles. They're projecting out to the world that, you know, they're in control of their life. They're working on their own stability here. And they're not probably talking to you. Uh, they're not open to talking to you. That it's all over. Okay. But deep down, they're slightly irritated with the whole situation. There's two energies going on here. They're irritated because they can't speak to you. All right. They are irritated because they can't speak to you. Deep down, I feel that they would like to come back in. Slightly irritated energy, though. Why are they irritated? What's going on here? They certainly don't have a plan. I think they're irritated today, you know, because intuitively you're both connected in. You've got an unexplicable bond here. Some people do have it. Some people do. You know, we all try and explain it in the best way we can. From our, you know, own people can only explain anything from what they've really experienced themselves or they'll read something else somebody else has experienced but there is some times between two people just a bond okay i feel that he, this person's been watching you from afar okay but what i think is irritating them at the moment is they are having to pretend that they don't care about you anymore okay they're having to pretend that they're not interested but deep down what they're not showing is that they would love nothing more to come charging back into your life okay but they're having to keep that quiet they're having to keep that quiet at the moment they can't talk about it for for some reason for some reason, they can't talk about it. Probably the environment they're in at the moment. But they would love nothing more to come rushing back in without a plan and tell you how they feel. Also, with this and these other cards, you are... They're slightly irritated under the surface because they can also feel your energy very strongly. Okay, they can also feel you, your energy pulling on them. They can't get you out of the head. As much as they can pretend to the outside world that they've moved on, that they, 
you know they've put that past behind them it's just it's just fake they're faking they're faking it let me just use my soulmate cards now for a minute I like sleeping next to you I miss you your beauty is so captivating your beauty is so captivating I think this is your inside beauty as well it's both I am so grateful I met you I think they are grateful that they they had that time with you I love you but again going back to the thing there's going to have to be some forgiveness here because it is a little bit it's just a stalemate um, they're just you know if you're manifesting this person in keep doing what you're doing okay and the energy will change eventually you know the the um, thoughts you're having will eventually catch up into the into the 3D because sometimes you think oh it takes ages but it depends manifestation is instant but it depends on how much resistance you've got but that's just my opinion okay because that's the way it's been in my life everybody I believe everybody kind of manifests a little bit differently what what works for one person doesn't always work for another but just keep doing what you're doing okay because I feel the energy will change there's a stalemate at the moment though Let's see what they would like to say to you because I don't see them coming forward at the moment because they're hiding the passion and the truth. They're hiding the truth, okay? Massively hiding it. Sat in the Fourth Pentacles energy, High Priestess. I hide behind material things. Whoa, you don't say. Fourth Pentacles is what they're telling everybody how they are. They're hiding behind money, their possessions, their stability. They're just hiding. Okay, what are they really feeling? You were the best thing in my life, yeah. I know that I crossed the line with you. Okay, let's get some advice for you, really, I think. Time to change for you, to learn something new. Okay, you're changing. I think you're changing your energy towards this connection. Sometimes they say time's a healer. I've seen it heal relationships, okay? You're changing something. You might be changing your views on what happened. You might just be going a completely different direction. But you are changing, even if it feels slow. Keep going, okay? Keep going. Yeah, central energy, someone's ghosted. Well, I can see they've been ghosted. There will be a clear solution that comes in, okay? This pattern of not being spoken to is going to end eventually. I don't see it at the moment, though. I feel that um, there's got to be something, like I say, the story's got to change. The story's got to change a little bit more here for something to shift. But if you've watched this today, the main gist is that this person does still love you and they're itching to tell you. They're itching to come forward. I mean, the Knight of Swords energy is so fast, so quick. And the fact that energy to restrict that, because I always feel it's air and fire together. I mean, they must be literally have bitten off all their fingers by now, okay? Forgiving and learning, yeah. That's the key today. Will you forgive them? Or will they forgive you? Okay. And you are connected in telepathically. You are thinking about this person. They are thinking about you. I feel you're talking to this person. And I feel they're talking to you. Okay. Romantic feelings. Yeah. They still have romantic feelings for you. Yeah, past life relationship. You could have known this person in a past life. Whether, you know, some people don't believe in past lives. Personally, I do. But you could have known this person before. Okay. 
you, when you met, you just knew them. You just gelled. You just got on. And then there was so much love here. So much love. You know, like a magnet, you were drawn together. Like two halves of... Two, two halves of a puzzle. You were just... And then their insecurities got in the way. I think your friends or somebody you were connected into when you were in this relationship will be instrumental in helping you bring you back together. It might not seem like it at the moment, but boy, that does happen. Um, and you need to discuss your feelings honestly with each other, okay? I think at the moment this reading, is, yeah, I think at the moment this reading is saying keep working on yourself. Get clear on, on, on who you want and wh what you want. If this is what you want, I see it moving eventually. I don't see it quite at the moment. Um, but energy, you know, energy changes. It just changes day to day. I mean, you know you can not be talking to somebody for years and then the next day you're talking and where the heck did that come from? Let's see what outcome at the moment. No, I just don't see it at the moment, to be honest. I, I feel with the Ten of Wands that either you don't have the energy or they don't have the energy. I feel it's probably you don't have the energy for it at the moment, okay? I feel that you... Although I do feel this energy is changing between both of you. I think there's a lot of hurt, a lot of pain. But I think over time, it's working its way through, as they say. But at the moment, you've got a lot on your plate with other things and you're not quite sure if you want to drop your boundaries again for this person okay so at the moment i don't see it. i just honestly see you having telepathic commu communications with your person who still does love you very much okay so i hope that's helped someone today stay strong stay positive and if you want to manifest your person back in you know change your thoughts change the thoughts you know life doesn't happen to you it's in you okay so if you can change your thoughts even just bit by bit work on your manifestation okay but this person does still care about you so i'll leave that with you loads of love take care bye